A combination of supply chain issues and February's widespread FDA-backed baby formula recall has led to bare shelves on grocery stores and pharmacies across the United States. Mary Mays has more on how this growing problem is impacting parents and babies here in Middle Tennessee. It took eight hours this past weekend for Samantha Wall and her husband Derek Mall to find just one canister of formula for their three-month-old baby. To be able to use their WIC benefits, they have to buy a specific size and brand. Infamil AR, which is added rice, and the 19.5 uh, yeah. ounce canister. So that's, that's what we were looking for. They tried other formulas in the past, but this one works best for baby. She spits up a lot and she's like, she has a very sensitive stomach. So like we have to use the formula we use or she's vomiting. As parents struggle to find formula, alternatives abound on social media. But think twice before you take online advice. Dr. Joseph Gigante, a professor of pediatrics at Vanderbilt Children's Hospital, wants to make sure babies aren't endangered by misinformation. Something I think parents might be tempted to do is water formula down. You definitely don't want to do that because basically by watering the formula down, you're decreasing the nutritional content of a formula. Dr. Gigante also says not to trust homemade formula recipes and other alternatives that are popping up online. Another really kind of strong message I want to put out there, don't use cow's milk, don't use goat's milk. Um, they, the, the, the nutritional content for both cows and goat's milk are not what a newborn needs. It's not what an infant needs. While you can't trust everything you see on social media, there are some ways getting online can help. I'm a part of a local mom page, and every time we go into the grocery store, we take pictures of the formula section to let other moms know what they have and what they don't. Mary Mays, News 2. A lot of important information, Mary. Thank you so much. Well, many retailers are also putting a limit on how much baby formula that you can purchase until the supply returns to normal. Alex.